I flirted with me, Abby. We went from holding hands to like hugging tightly and things. I was so giddy. I was so giddy. Ah! Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine. I wonder if this love is everlasting. I promise not to treat you like your last one. Let's get into it. Hi babes, hi boo-boos, hi darlings. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, uh, another video. Uh, uh. I can't believe I'm shooting this video. But you already know the tradition. We can't start a story time without. You know it. I already have my drink right here. Does it contain alcohol? Yes. The way this story is about to go, I need alcohol ginger mint. I can't believe I'm about to do this story time. It's so funny. I don't even know where to start from. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how I met my man, my man, my man. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be laughing throughout, okay? Because I get a little bit shy when the conversation is about him. A little bit, okay? Uh. I guess the story starts from when me and you know who we're done with that was what 2020 or something when everything was done i really was not ready for a new relationship you know how it is it's, it's a fresh breakup you take some time to think about yourself and your next step so i was just minding my business for a couple of months not really looking for anything i was not interested at all the way i was hot looking for a job Uncle, go and sit down. Don't disturb me. One day I was at work, my part-time job at Full Basics. The girls and I, my co-workers, were just having a conversation. The topic of dating came up and they were all talking about, you know, how like it's so hard to find somebody now. It was still like COVID kind of, so obviously you're not meeting people outside. They were talking about like dating apps. Everybody's indoors and if you really want to meet somebody, it has to be through a dating app. So I was like, okay. Because you know in Ghana, we don't really do dating apps like that. Do we have them in Ghana? Do people use dating apps? Actually, let me know. Let me know if you've used a dating app before in Ghana. I have never done that, so I don't know if it's popular or not. But yeah, so they mentioned it, and I was like, oh, I've never tried a dating app before. So, why not try it? Obviously, if I'm gonna date, it's gonna be for a reason. I wasn't gonna join for fun. But I wanted something serious, but not too serious to that, oh, I'm looking for my future husband. Do you get what I mean? You know, hit it off with somebody. So they told me not to download Tinder. They gave me a few options, to be honest. Hinge and some other ones. So your girl downloaded this app, filled out my profile, everything. You know, you have to add your pictures and all that. And then they asked you what you're looking for. And I was like, hmm, I don't want to say I'm looking for fun so that rubbish people will come my way. So I just said, like, you know, I'm looking for something a little more serious. That was the first time. I'm saying that was the first time because I, I deleted the app and downloaded it again. So the first time I downloaded it, fresh, fresh, fresh. I was on there, you know, I'm seeing people liking my page and my profile, you know, having conversations with people. Some people were so annoying. Even though I have written on my profile that I'm looking for a serious relationship, you still get those devils that will come and be telling you that, oh, they're not looking for a serious relationship, but they like you, so they want to, you know, corner, corner you. If I was looking for corner, corner, wouldn't I write it on my page? while i was on the app you know talking to people i was actually going on dates as well like you know trying to connect with people it wasn't really looking very promising to be honest it was not i i was so tired of it that i deleted the app i could not be bothered i think it was during the summer or something i re-downloaded it again i was like you know i'll give you one more try just once and i did meet a few people as well so the second time was when Bowie came into the picture he liked my page and i liked him back when people like you you see it and then you like them back or you accept it and then they can start having a conversation with you so i was looking at his page and i was like okay i see you i see you with your cap with your white shirt oh it's looking saucy i don't know if i'm gonna find that picture but if i do find that picture i'm sure he has it on his phone but i'm gonna put it here this picture was the picture i saw that i was like yes yes this is what i like i didn't really look at the profile like that's like that i was just looking at the pictures so i didn't realize he was jamaican initially and when he liked me and i liked him back he didn't say anything 
you that you've come to like me i sent him a message and i'm like not even a hi he laughed about it i think i don't know if i can find the, the fresh fresh message because once you delete the app like you delete your account you can't get your messages back and we both did and we started talking a little bit he said he's not really on the app like that so he wants my number and i don't typically give my number to people on the app normally i have to like talk to you for a while to see if we're vibing i was really liking his vibe i was really liking it so i was like you know let me just give you my number tell me why uncle didn't hit me up not even a hello text message i call it your number i will be calling you Sean. I wasn't so focused on that because like I said on the app you're talking to different people while he had my number and didn't reach out I was also busily talking to a bunch of people trying to see if I'm gonna click with somebody else because obviously I didn't know what the future had for him and I so I'm like okay we move so I stayed on the app talking to people going on dates I went on a lot of dates I went on a lot of dates and 95% of them rubbish you really have to have patience for these dating apps if you don't you're going to give up i actually gave up and deleted it again second time of deleting the app the rubbish was just too much and then what was it i think i was having a conversation with salma again and i told her i was going to download the app she was very skeptical about it but one more time once and for all because so far it's looking like zero i downloaded it the third time and as i was scrolling through my likes guess who was in there again yep liked my page again and i remembered him because that was the same picture that i saw that i was like oof that picture came up again i'm like no i know this person and this has been months after right so i start scrolling on his page i'm like yeah i've seen this page before so i liked him back me i liked him back to come and blast him because why would you call us my number and not text me or call me he was like, just give me the number again and I'm going to call you and explain to you what happened, right? Annoying. He called me, he was at a friend's place. We were talking and then he was explaining to me that the reason why he didn't get back to me is because like I said, you're talking to a bunch of people on the app. He actually hit it off with somebody else, but then it didn't go anywhere. But that's why he got back on the app because once he hit it off with somebody, he didn't feel like he had to be on the app anymore. He was serious about finding somebody, so he was going to take the person serious. That's understandable because if I had hit it off with somebody else, I wouldn't have kept being on the app and I wouldn't talk to all, everybody else that I was talking to. I would focus on that person, right? Okay. Your story makes sense. I forgive you. Then we had like a really long conversation. It was so nice. We were talking about my YouTube channel, where he's from, where I'm from, how long I've been here. The conversation was just smooth. I really enjoyed it. And we spoke for a minute, 45 to an hour. We spoke for a long time. I guess the conversation was so good that we felt like we had to meet in person. He called me around one or something. That same day, we made plans to meet to see what the vibe is like because phone conversation is obviously different. We made plans to meet at like 2, 2.30. He swears that we said 2, but I, I feel like we said 2.30. Even though I thought it was 2.30, I was still running late. So I texted him right when I was running late and he was patient enough. He waited for me to finish getting ready. We met at a mall. I think I have a video of that day, the day that we met. He picked me up. I sat in the car and I remember the first thing that he said to me, not the first thing, I remember the first compliment he gave me was, I have beautiful skin. I was like, oh, that flirting with me, Abby. And I really had a good look at him. Oh, he was so cute. He took me to the beach. I remember we went to the, the bluffs and it was pretty cold. It was a little cold. It was still kind of like, yeah, we're still in like winter a little bit. So I had on my jacket and everything. But he wasn't feeling cold. I was dying. I was slowly dying. We took a walk, holding hands, talking and looking into each other's eyes and all that. Ah, so romantic. <laughs> I remember this like yesterday. We found a spot and we're standing at that spot for a while. Just, you know, looking out at the water. But I was freezing, guys. Listen, I was trying to be hard, but... The cold was slapping me. When I said I was feeling cold, I remember that he held me. We went from holding hands to like hugging tightly and things. I didn't think we were going to hit it off like that, but like the vibes were vibing. Even though he was holding me, I was cold, my friend. This is not going to bring summer. Leave me and let's be going. So we decided to walk back to the car. Still holding hands, by the way. At this point, we looked like a couple. And we hadn't even got to it. This was day one. So you see, you see where this is going. The way the vibe was going, I was like, hmm. Still talking, still vibing, he was making me laugh. I was laughing the entire time. I was so giddy, I was so giddy. Ah! 
we left the beach we went to play pool i was taking the lead to go into the spot let me just call it a bar because it was pretty much a bar kind of held me and spun me around a little bit maybe he was practicing that move because that was just too smooth and uh, <laughs> and before i realize we're kissing okay guys i'm sweating i was like okay i loved it i loved every second of it went into the bar and i think we wanted to play the pool but there were no pool tables available and he was like oh i i know of a place that's not too far from here so let's just go there and go eat i took pictures of him there in that restaurant we sat there we spoke about so much and he really knows how to keep a conversation going we finished eating and he brought me back home we sat in the car for a while again we couldn't have enough of each other after that day I can boldly say we saw each other every single day every single day after that he would finish work and come by we we'll probably just vibe either vibe in the car or we we'll go somewhere he liked taking me places guys he liked taking me places and he knew I was fairly new to the country so he wanted me to explore it so he was always taking me to like new places some days I'll be at Salma's place and he would come by randomly out of nowhere like he would literally call me and I'll pick him and he'd be like I'm downstairs Salma was annoyed <laughs> I don't quite remember the exact date. The first time you sent me a picture of you two together was in April. And that was when you guys went to Niagara Falls. Um, I just went through quickly to, you know, like get the timeline straight. But I remember you just told me you guys had matched on Hinge. And um, you told me, oh, you were going on a date with this Jamaican guy. He was cute. That was really it. And then um, you went on the date. I remember we spoke after the date and you pretty much said, oh, it went well and he wants to see you again. And I remember you guys saw each other like every day for like the next two weeks. He would just come around, come pick me up and we'll spend so much time together. And then he would bring me back. By the time I, I, he brings me back, Sama is already over it. She's probably going to sleep. <laughs> but I had the best time every time. I just felt the connection. I felt like we were really good. Sometimes you just know it. I was at Sama's place this one time and he, he wanted to come see me. He bought me flowers. I love flowers. He knows that I love flowers. And we were talking. The conversation led to if we wanted to really do this he asked me if i wanted to be in a relationship with him he officially asked me to be his girlfriend <laughs> the way i said yes leave me by that time i was hooked like a hunger it felt like it was a little fast but at the same time i kind of knew that the way it was going that's where it was leading why are we wasting time what are we waiting <laughs> i came home to the whole proposal, like the flowers, bouquet thing that he got for you, you guys hang out and that's when he asked you to be his girlfriend. So yeah, I feel like that's how it kind of like played out. It happened so quick, but yeah. That's basically how I met my movie. <laughs> I remember the first time I met his mom. I was in his room or something. She came around and he called me. He called me out and she was so nice. Just asking me about Ghana. She really likes me. Like after I met him, he told me that, oh, my mom really likes me. I'm like, oh, you know I'm such a likable person. And I liked it too. So I mean, oh, his dad is so nice. <laughs> his dad, he came and picked, me, picked us up from the airport. It was nice. I met his sisters. Everybody in the family is just amazing. Okay. I feel right at home when I'm around them he's also met my mom my mom came last year december low-key low-key even though my mom said she misses me and she wanted to come visit me i feel like she actually just wanted to come to see who is this man that has captured the heart of my daughter let me come and inspect him and see that he is the right one they also hit it off pretty well we had a nice conversation she likes him as well i'm the happiest right now it's different it's different all my relationship i think we met like in person or either they saw me somewhere and they wanted to talk to me but this was a very different and very smooth so yeah if you want to try a dating app you probably should honestly it's not for everybody some people get lucky some people don't get lucky you can try it though just be very vigilant and make sure you're safe especially if you're meeting people in person be very very careful yeah so that's how i met my baby
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story time. Let me know if you've tried any dating apps in the comments below. How did it go for you? If you haven't and you're curious and you have some questions, feel free to ask me in the comments as well. And I'll give you my two cents on that, okay? If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, babes, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. And I'm singing for you because I wanted to bless you with these vocals and convince you to subscribe to my channel. Are you not going to subscribe? Don't tell me that. Because all the money in your account is going to disappear if you don't subscribe. I'm just telling you. You can ask. They'll tell you. Also, follow me on my social media pages, which are going to be at the end of this video. My Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, all of them. So be sure to follow me. And I'll see you guys on another video. Love you. Bye.